it's really hard for people to get uh, affordable health care or get the proper prosthetic care they deserve because if you see normally a prosthetic hand or a prosthetic leg or a wheelchair costs lakhs and 90% of the people who are living in amputations are from labor class so they don't have money. Platforms like this give a voice to these disabled people. We're using the power of design to give them a better life. And I think it's really empowering the community uh, and acknowledging their importance in our worldview of things. If you decide for all the people what they need or what they have to do, it never works. That's a basic principle. So programs like that, because they involve since the very beginning, okay, real people of the real life into the process, I think these programs can have a real genuine impact. When we are technicians like us, we still thought about technical solutions. But disabled people just want to have easy way to move. That's why we have to ask them, what do you want? What do you need? What is your aim? Co-creation is very important because it fosters innovation. It fosters ideas. Getting you know, the human kid guys to come in to contribute from France and then having all our Indian uh, designers come in together, it's, it's, it's beautiful. People were so excited and enthusiastic that every two minutes they had a new idea. So they, they would start something and then they would change their minds and start something again and again. And Johan had the feeling that they were like, like being in a metal concert. So glad to see such intelligent people coming together to make a dream come true. Because it's, it's, it's a dream and it could bring smiles to so many people. I have a lot of these crazy ideas in my mind going all the time. I actually want to ride a bike and go, you know, places. I mean, why not? I mean, it could sound very silly at times, but you know, once you have the crazy something, it, it manifests somewhere. So, you know, this is really something that, that really I'm looking forward to. I honestly feel even Makers Asylum really doesn't know what they have done. Like how, what a big deal this is going to be for people. One of my girls in my team uh, called Rafat is a paraplegic. She talks to people about paragliding and flying and encourages them to go and fly every day. And she has always wanted to fly. Every time I talk to her, we always end it with, uh, Anita, you think I'll be able to fly one day? And I'll always say, of course, we'll, we'll, we'll try to make it happen. You don't know what you're doing to that girl there who's inspiring people to fly every day and now you're going to let her fly. You have no idea what it does to her spirit, to her soul and to many such others. Uh, you have no idea. I think I'm getting a little emotional. <laughs> It was really a challenge, you know, to uh, have uh, people with uh, different uh, abilities uh, to gather them for the first time. They, at the beginning, I think they were a little bit worried about what will happen, what is this place, we have never heard about this place. So after five days, I'm very happy because I think we have reached the objective of this event. Mahatma Gandhi said something like, be the change you want to see in the world. I felt like Fabricarium was the place that would materialize the statement.